I have found a gorgeous place to talk about dogwoods. Dogwoods belong to the genus Cornus in the family of the Cornaceae. Most dogwoods have oppositely arranged leaves or leaves that depart the stem in pairs. Dogwood leaves have an entire margin or a smooth, unserrated leaf edge. As well, you can see they have these secondary veins that depart the central midrib and travel towards the tip of the leaf rather than straight out to the sides. We call this arcuate venation. They have a rounded leaf shape, often bottom heavy. We call this ovate, though leaf size and general proportion can vary. Today we're going to cover the three most common shrub dogwoods in my region, silky, red twig, and gray dogwood, as they are all around me here. Look at this stunning stem. You can tell why red twig dogwood Cornus sericea is favored for ornamental use in plantings. Red twig dogwood has these typical dogwood leaves, often rounder than the leaves of silky dogwood or gray dogwood, and it has this very clear, very light magenta almost twigs. These twigs do not form vertical striations, unlike silky dogwood. Instead, they remain clear and speckled with lenticels like stars. The stems of gray dogwood are gray. This is where it gets its name. Here we have the very round, wide leaves of red twig dogwood compared to the narrower leaves of silky dogwood and the narrowest leaves of gray dogwood. You will find white fruit on both gray dogwood and red twig dogwood at maturity. You will find blue fruit on silky dogwood at maturity. However, these blue fruit will start off white before they ripen. Red twig dogwood and silky dogwood are wider, broader, fuller shrubs, whereas gray dogwood is upright and often lacks its lower branches, making it look tree-like. 